All right, YouTube was good. So Elijah back with another video, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do ceiling shots. I'm not gonna waste any more time, so let's get straight into it. All right, so for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the classic wall to air dribble training pack that is known to mankind. But yeah, so I'm gonna be using this one. Okay, so there are pretty much like three types of ceiling shots. There's the regular drive up the wall method there's the jump off the wall method you know and onto the ceiling and then off the ceiling and then there's the fancy i want to be a freestyler method now the easiest one i'd say you should start trying to practice is the drive off the wall one because i feel like once you get that you'll understand how to do the rest or at least the jump off the wall version so yeah, most of the time you just want to do this and then boom, like that. Um, obviously you got to know how to hit the ball off the wall, kind of like a regular air dribble kind of thing. So I assume you guys know how to do that, but if you don't make sure you, uh, I don't want to say it's the feel of the car, but it really is. You have to get the feel of it. But usually you just want to hit the ball t towards the goal, like, I guess. And don't hit it super hard. Technically, in this situation, you don't really have time to hit it super hard. But like, if you are f driving far, usually you might like supersonic into the ball and then you're going to hit the ceiling. Try not to do that. Because <laughs> otherwise it's just going to be too fast for you to keep up with the ball. But yeah, um... So as long as you get the roll off the wall step, you're good. Once you get that, boom, hit it. Try doing just these for now, right? Um, obviously when you're driving backwards, it's kind of different than just driving like this way. It's reverse or whatever, it's flipped. So try to learn, first of all, get comfortable with just driving off the wall like this and then trying to like, ang like fix yourself. Just practice that. Keep doing that over and over until you get comfortable with just, you know, driving upside down. Then once you get that, now you want to start actually hitting the ball. So you can actually jump off the ceiling or you could just let yourself fall off. So just keep holding the gas pretty much like this and then just fall off. <laughs> it's going to do it for you. I feel like that way is easier because it's just everything feels slow. So you can just do it gradually. So once you get the hang of that, boom, then you could just flip into it like that. And now is where you're going to try to actually angle your shot. As I just did, I missed. But yeah, practice that and the ceiling shot will be easy for you. Once you get the hang of that, you can eventually start doing the jump off the wall. So for this one, I treat it like an air dribble. I just hit it and then jump off at the same time. But when you jump off, you want to hold down on the joystick like this, so you could, you know, go upside down. If you if you hold up, obviously you're gonna go like this. So no, you want to go down like that. That's the first step. So you hit it. As soon as you hit it, you jump off. Technically, you don't have to, you know, do it as soon as you hit it, but usually, just do it like that. Once you get those two steps. Now, the third step, I want to say you want to put in your mind or muscle memory that you got to hold the power slide button when you hit the ceiling or like before you hit this, just hold this power slide button pretty much so you could slide off the wall or the ceiling, you know, like that. Because if you just like boom into the ceiling, most of the time your car is just going to stop, like it's going to break and you're just going to fall down. Um, so you don't want that to happen. Usually you want to hold the power slide button. Like I, I'm always doing that. Sometimes you don't have to hold it all the time though. It just depends on how far your ball is. So if the ball is like very far, you want to hold the power slide button because your car is going to you know, keep driving on the ceiling until it falls off. But if the ball is like, it spiked into the ceiling and then went straight down, most of the time you're not going to hold the power slide button. Just, you know, don't even hold it. Just let yourself fall straight down with the ball. So yeah, uh, once you get the hang of, you know, jumping off and then 
onto the ceiling. You just practice. Oh, I just did a flip reset. You just practice doing that over and over. It'll come easy. So, yeah. And then lastly, there's the fancy one. With this one, you gotta know, well, I don't wanna say you gotta know it, but I use arrow left. So I just, it just makes it easier for me. So yeah, with this one, typically use arrow left or right, whichever you use. You can also wave dash on the ceiling. I feel like wave dashing is just doing this method though. You gotta like kinda, kinda like tilt your car like this and wave dash like that. But instead you're doing it on the ceiling. Like that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much ceiling shots. Just the easiest way I can say is just keep doing that, you know. Practice by just driving on the wall onto the ceiling like that and just hitting the ball. If this video helped you guys though, please leave a like, comment, share, and please hit the subscribe button. I'm on the road to 1K, trying to be consistent as can be. But other than that guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.